yes welcome once again to the class welcome once again to the channel and today i am going to start a new series on uh, reviving jobs and agenda for growth and uh, just let me open the board okay so uh, I, I am basically uh, giving you the summary of this book which is called as reviving jobs the agenda for growth let me write the name over here reviving jobs an agenda for growth This book is written by Santosh Mehrotra, okay? This will surely help you in your mains answer writing, okay? So, let us start our discussion with the very first chapter. You, you should purchase this book no but you don't have time actually because you are preparing for the IS exam so you don't have any time with you so actually you can follow this series and make your notes accordingly okay so reviving, reviving jobs and agenda for growth by Santosh Mehrotra so I am starting with the discussion so the very first chapter of this book is human development okay now along with human development it is also going to provide an analytical framework okay uh, a framework for the agenda of jobs okay how to create jobs in india okay so as a policy maker this will be important for you even after you join the is exam uh, is service okay so india has a job cri job crisis and uh, more young people in absolute numbers are joining the labor force. Now India has a job crisis for sure, no matter whether the government hides it or not. India has a job crisis for sure. This is uh, seen in the society at large. So more young people are in absolute number, more young people are joining the labor force. Okay. Now what is labor force? Let me explain you what is labor force. Now the meaning of labor force is very clear. Those who are between the age of 15 to 65 years old. Okay. Those who are in the age group of 15 to 65 years old. Because if a person is 65 years plus. Okay. Able bodied. And in this also in 15 to 65 years old also. Able bodied persons. Okay able bodied without any defect so and uh, uh, the labor force also includes physically handicapped persons okay so labor force also includes your physically handicapped persons but those persons who are not able to work for example if someone is mentally retarded then he or she cannot work okay so a mentally retarded person cannot work so a mentally retarded person cannot work so between 15 to 65 years of age those who are able bodied those are involved in the labor force suppose if someone is 65 years plus okay 65 years plus then he will be very old so he cannot work and those who are below 15 years of age those people also cannot work okay so actually in india uh, this labor force definition has been taken from the western world basically this 15 to 65 years old uh, this uh, definition has been taken from the western world actually in india people start working uh, at the age of 24 25 onwards okay but nowadays it has it has risen to uh, this uh, age age is rise has risen to 30 
टू इयर्स और थर्टी वन ईयर्स ओके सो पीपल आल आर गेटिंग एम्प्लॉयड इन द एट द एज ऑफ पीपल आर पीपल आर गेटिंग एम्प्लॉयड एट द एज ऑफ थर्टी वन थर्टी टू ईयर्स नाउ एड इज ओके सम ईयर्स है गो टेन ईयर्स है गो ट्वेल्व ईयर्स है गो पीपल वे आर गेटिंग एम्प्लॉयड एट द एज ऑफ ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव ओके so whatever it may be but still the uh, the thing is that in india 15 years old persons do not work usually okay usually i am saying okay uh, the although the poor uh, poor persons below poverty line persons might uh, work at below the age of 15 also but uh, that's a different story so so let us Uh, stick to our definition <coughs> although i have told you the uh, what we can say exceptions and what what is what it implies for india but 15 to 65 years of old approximately okay this is approximate okay so uh, from the it differs from books to books so approx so this is your labor force now india has clearly a job crisis and more young people in absolute numbers are joining the labor force looking for work this labor force is the uh, uh, population which which produces and uh, means uh, from the age of 0 to 100 okay from the age of 0 to 100 everyone is consuming everyone is consuming okay consuming and 15 to 65 years age persons what do they do they are producers okay these are consumers 0 to 100 years of age these persons are consumers means entire population of the country is basically consumer okay and the, those who are between the age group of 15 to 65 that is belonging to the labor force they are what producers okay because they produce the uh, products in the market suppose if someone is uh, uh, producing a, a biscuit packet so he will he will work in the factory of biscuits okay uh, and uh, suppose if someone is a uh, big businessman okay capital uh, means big businessman okay so what will he do he will basically produce okay so those those people usually belong to the age group of 15 to 65 Yeah, for example adani belongs to the age group of 15 to 65 and many other people okay and those who are working in the, their factories those people also belong to the age group of 15 to 65 on an average okay so labor force is the, the that portion of the population which is uh, which wants to work okay which is which is a, which has the ability to work okay which has the ability to produce in the market okay now more young people in absolute numbers are joining the labor force in india looking for work but but what is happening but the proportion of those finding work is less than before okay those who are finding the work is less than before the working age population is increasing okay so 15 to 65 years old is what working age population it is increasing day by day okay because we are getting the uh, uh, demographic dividend now what is this, the term demographic dividend let us understand the term demographic dividend okay now what is this stuff the thing is suppose you uh, consider that uh, 0 to 15 years old is one age group then 15 to 65 years old is another age group and 65 plus is the third age group okay now suppose let us take the example of any country like india okay suppose in 1950 the life expectancy suppose in 1950 let us consider 3 years okay 2010 and 
let us consider these three years okay let us consider them so those who are in the age group of 0 to 15 now suppose in 1950 the year 1950 suppose in this particular year people used to die very early okay they used to die very early so let us begin with uh, the population 10 okay so suppose there were 10 pe people over here there were uh, suppose there is a hypothetical country okay so this is the thing this is a hypothetical country okay now suppose 10 people are there the population of this country is 17 the population of this country is 17 suppose okay so what happens is that in the in the 1950s okay now let us not uh, make it like this okay just rub, rub this from here okay 10 5 2 this is correct now okay so in the year 1950 suppose uh, those belonging to the age group of 0 to 15 years those people were supposed 10 in number those belonging to the age group of 15 to 65 those were supposed 5 in number and those belonging to the age group of 65 plus those people were supposed 2 in number then what will happen suppose the year 2010 comes then what will happen in 2010 suppose the uh, birth rate falls down suppose the birth rate falls down so many people from this 10 years age group okay they go to the 15 to 65 age group okay so suppose these 10 people they move over here okay but two of them die two of them died so only eight people remain okay now the birth the birth over here suppose the, the birth rate was 10 over here now the birth rate has uh, dropped so the only six six children were born okay and suppose these five people till 2010 those become zero suppose okay now in the year 2023 again technological advancements occur and after the technological advancements suppose the birth rate again falls so 0 to 15 years only two children are there and these six people okay who were there now they are over here all the six are alive why all the six are alive because because there is technological advancement in medical field okay so in the, from the year 1950 to 2010 those 10 people who were there who uh, were reduced to eight okay but from here to here six six out of six people remain as it is okay and suppose these eight people okay they also remain as it is okay now consider this particular situation now when will you say that this particular country this particular imaginary country the name of which is xyz this particular xyz country when does it have demographic dividend in which particular year this country has demographic dividend if someone asks you so what do what will you say you will certainly say that this year 2010 is the demographic dividend year this 2010 year is demographic dividend year why because there is maximum maximum proportion of working age population okay you can see over here eight people are in the work, working age means over here over here and over here the the 15 to 65 age group population is maximum 
15 to 65 age group population is maximum over here. Okay. What about 1950? The 15 to 65 age group population was not maximum because the country was less developed during those days. And in the year 2023, we have maximum aging population. 65 plus population is maximum. So this is aging population. Okay. So this two, the year 2010 will be the year of demographic dividend because maximum proportion, maximum percentage of population, okay, maximum uh, percentage of population is basically your uh, in the maximum percentage of population is your uh, under the age group of 15 to 65 that is in the labor force, okay, maximum percentage of population as you can see over here. 8 people are in the labor force. So actually this, this particular imaginary country had demographic dividend in the year 2010. But what about India? India has demographic dividend since the year 2014. Okay. I, I would rather say 2013. Okay. I would rather say that India has demographic dividend from the year 2013. Okay. So, India is currently in this situation, 2010 situation, this XYZ country, the situation in, it, uh, in which it was in the year 2010. So, India is currently, okay, India is currently, in the, before that also, we had actually entered, uh, I think in 1990s, I am not sure, but we are currently in the demographic dividend, just keep this thing in mind that, uh, uh, we are in currently in demographic dividend. Uh, it did not start in 2013. I am really sorry, but we are currently in demographic dividend. Okay. Now, so more people in absolute numbers are joining the labor force. So you can see over here, more people, more people in absolute numbers. Okay. More people in absolute numbers are joining the labor force. Okay, because here the number was less, more people in absolute numbers are joining the labor force. But the percentage of those, okay, but the proportion of those finding work is less than before. Okay, so particularly in India, if you look at the statistics, if you look at the statistics, in uh, till the year, uh, pro, let us consider the years. So, year 2004. To 2012 okay those finding work okay and I would rather say from 1996 onwards from 1996 to 2004 to 2012 okay those finding work was considerable okay those finding work was considerable and was increasing with every coming year in the labor force whosoever was entering those were finding work Okay, considerably, considerable proportion of those people were finding work and this proportion was increasing, okay, with upcoming years, okay, this proportion was increasing with upcoming years, but uh, from 2012 onwards, from 2012 onwards till pre present, okay. This book was written in the year 2020. This book was written, this uh, Santosh Mehrotara book was written in the year 2020. So till present means 2020. Actually this applies from 2020 to 2023 also. Okay. Actually this applies to 2020 to 2023 also. But the book has been written keeping in mind the year 2020. And it, has, it hasn't been updated since then. Okay. So what happens is that more and more people okay more people 
सपोज मोर पीपल एंटरिंग द लेबर फोर्स सो सपोज एट पीपल एंटर द लेबर फोर्स नाउ बिफोर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व वॉट वॉज द सिचुएशन ओके बिफोर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व वॉट वॉज द सिचुएशन एट पीपल वे आर एंटरिंग द लेबर फोर्स ओके एंड सिक्स आउट ऑफ देम वे आर गेटिंग वर्क ओके एंड आफ्टर ट्वेंट आफ्टर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व वॉट इज द सिचुएशन आफ्टर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व द थिंग इज दैट ट्वेल्व पीपल आर एंटरिंग द लेबर फोर्स बट ऑनली फोर आर गेटिंग वर्क ओके सो एट पीपल वे आर एंटरिंग द लेबर फोर्स सिक्स वे आर गेटिंग वर्क टू टू वे आर टू ऑफ देम वे आर अनएम्प्लॉयड टू वे आर अनएम्प्लॉयड एंड ओवर हियर ट्वेल्व पीपल आर एंटरिंग द लेबर फोर्स मीन्स द नंबर हैज राइजन स्टील दिस नंबर हैज स्टील ड्रॉप्ड ओके ओनली फोर पीपल हैव गॉट द जॉब आउट ऑफ ट्वेल्व एंड एट पीपल एट पीपल आर अनएम्प्लॉयड ओके सो दिस इज द सिचुएशन ऑफ इंडिया विच द ऑथर हैज ट्राइड टू एक्सप्लेन ओके सो दिस इज द सिचुएशन ऑफ इंडिया विच द ऑथर हैज ट्राइड टू एक्सप्लेन बस द प्रोपोर्शन ऑफ दोज फाइंडिंग वर्क इज लेस देन बिफोर द वर्किंग एज पॉपुलेशन इज इंक्रीजिंग ओके द वर्किंग एज पॉपुलेशन एज यू कैन सी ओवर यूर दिस इमेजिनरी कंट्री लुक एट दिस इमेजिनरी कंट्री इन दर हियर दिस दिस इयर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व टू थाउजेंड टेन वॉज द इयर ऑफ डेमोग्राफिक डिविडेंट ओके सो वर्किंग एज पॉपुलेशन इज इंक्रीजिंग एज अ शेयर ऑफ टोटल पॉपुलेशन सो दिस एट नंबर ऑफ पीपल आर इन द वर्किंग एज ग्रुप सो इट दिस नंबर इज इंक्रीजिंग वॉट वॉट इज हैपनिंग इन इंडिया इज दैट दिस पर्टिकुलर नंबर इज इंक्रीजिंग ओके मीन्स दोज एंटरिंग द लेबर फोर्स इज इंक्रीजिंग डे बाय डे ओके सो दैट्स वॉट इज कॉल्ड एज द वर्किंग एज पॉपुलेशन सो वर्किंग एज पॉपुलेशन इज इंक्रीजिंग एज अ शेयर ऑफ टोटल पॉपुलेशन ओके द सो कॉल्ड डेमोग्राफिक डिविडेंट बट लेसर पेपर पीपल आर लुकिंग फॉर वर्क नाउ वॉट हैज हैपन्ड इज दैट बिफोर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व वॉट वॉज द सिचुएशन बिफोर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व द सिचुएशन वॉज सच लेट एस कंपेयर थ्री इयर्स टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन बिफोर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व ओके लेट एस कंपेयर थ्री इयर्स वॉट इज हैपनिंग इन इंडिया आई एम टेलिंग यू आई एम गिविंग यू अ ब्रॉड आइडिया सो बिफोर बिफोर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व द ईयर टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन एंड द ईयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी and this trend is this trend has continued uh, up to now okay up to this year also so before 2012 what was the situation eight people entered the labor force okay suppose six of them got work so two remain unemployed now in the year 2016 what happened 12 people are entering the labor force okay four of them got work this is labor force this is those who got work now the unemployed people are eight okay this is unemployed in the year 2020 16 people entered the labor force okay and uh, those who got work is suppose 5 okay and unemployed people are 11 11 people are unemployed okay this is unemployed this is those who got work and this is labor force now the thing is that the thing is that what happen, what is happening is that in in these 11 unemployed people okay 
that author is trying to explain that in these 11 unemployed people in the year 2020 amongst these 11 unemployed people four people were such okay four people were such that those people had stopped looking for work those people had what stopped looking for work okay now as four people had stopped looking for work stop looking for work means they had they have actually lost hope okay those four people who have among these 11 unemployed people among these 11 unemployed people those people who have stopped looking for work what is their situation actually they had tried to uh, find the work very much they had tried to contact the ola cabs they had tried tried to contact the uber app uh, uber cabs okay they had tried many things but they had actually found no work no one was ready to employ them saying that the market is really down so what happens is that now the unemployment is always measured the unemployment is always measured in terms of what in terms of those who are actively looking for work what is unemployment unemployment is the number of persons who who are actively looking for work okay actively looking for work those who have stopped looking for work uh, because of losing hope those who have stopped looking for work because of losing hope those people are not counted as unemployed so the thing is that 11 people uh, uh, from amongst 11 unemployed people four people stopped looking for work so the unemployment raise, uh, rate falls to the unemployment raise, rate falls to 7 so what happens is that this is what this is 5 okay this is 5 so the thing is that 11 people were initially unemployed 4 people lost the hope of finding work so the un unemployment rate becomes 7 so 7 is the unemployment rate ok because unemployment is always measured in terms of mummy koi aya so 7 people are so 11 people are unemployed amongst those 4 people have stopped looking for work so what happened is that only 7 people uh, now the unemployment is always measured in terms of 11 people were, uh, uh, were unemployed initially but 4 people have stopped looking for work because of losing hope so those 4 people were subtracted from the uh, unemployment data and only 7 people are unemployed ok so this this is the data which is shown so uh, the author wants to say that the unemployment da data which was last time released in the year 2016 ok so the unemployment data which was released in the year 2016 that unemployment data was actually underrated underrated means uh, actually the unemployment should have been 11 unemployment should have been 11 but because four people had stopped looking for work altogether and unemployment always looks for active persons who are actively seeking work so that's why four people were subtracted because those people had lost hope so they were subtracted from the unemployment data because they were not at all actively looking for work ok so only 7 people so the unemployment data which was released in the year 2016 which stated that 7 people are un unemployed ok suppose so that that data is understated ok Und understated because the actual real unemployment is actually 11 ok so this is the situation which the author wants to explain ok so this is the situation in India currently. So after that you know that uh, the government, uh, uh, the Modi government uh, stopped releasing the unemployment data. Okay. Similar is the situation with farmer suicide also. The Modi government also stopped uh, publishing the farmer suicide data because it didn't want any criticism. Okay. It, uh, it wanted to avoid criticism.
okay because it uh, eventually implied that modi's image will go down so in order to prevent modi's image from going down they actually stopped publishing the data itself okay na rahega baaz na bajegi baat sorry okay so that was the situation now so the labor force participation rate okay the labor force participation rate we will refer to it as lfpr so labor force participation rate is actually falling down okay both for men as well as women okay so both for men and women the uh, labor force participation rate is falling down now what is this labor force participation rate let us understand this let us let us understand what is meant by labor force participation rate now you know this very well that uh, in this labor force this labor force consists of people from the age group of 15 to 65 years approximately okay varies from data to data 15 to 65 years old okay 15 to 65 years old Fifteen to sixty-five years old. So this is the data for fifteen to sixty-five years old. Eight people, okay. Fifteen to sixty-five years old, twelve people. That is labor force. Fifteen to sixty-five years old, sixteen people. That is the labor force. Now percentage, okay. Labor force participation rate is falling means. not everyone in the labor force will work okay not it is not necessary that everyone belonging to the labor force will work it is not necessary suppose if someone uh, if someone uh, in the uh, someone has a age age of 16 suppose suppose someone has a age of 16 and uh, he or she is there in the graduation years okay or he or she is in the 11th standard 12th standard suppose someone is of the age 16 years and he is belonging to the 11th standard then we will will he or she work at all no they will not work why they will not work the reason is very simple because they are 16 years old only okay in western countries at the age of 16 years also everyone starts uh, starts to working but uh, in india the culture is such that a person belonging to the 11th standard and at age of 16 years the, that person doesn't work in india because that person wants to seek higher education he or she wants to complete 11th 12th standard he or she wants to seek higher education some of the people go up to the masters okay some of the people go up to, up to the masters okay so those people are excluded from the labor force okay because those people will not work at all so those people are not productive population those people are not productive population so the persons who are going from higher education those are uh, excluded from the labor force now those persons who are preparing for upsc and are unemployed so those persons will also be out of the labor force why because they are not seeking work they are not seeking work because they are preparing for upsc <coughs> so a person at the age of 31 years also might be out of the labor force why because he is 31 years old although and he or she belongs to the labor force but even after being of 31 years even after being 31 years old he or she is not wanting to work okay so they they will not participate because they want to qualify upsc they have higher dreams okay and uh, third case is third case is those of housewives okay housewives so suppose uh, there is a lady there is a lady who is a housewife 
so he, he uh, she will not work she, that particular lady who is a housewife she, suppose she is 45 years old that housewife is 45 years old do you think uh, she will work no she will not work okay so those people are excluded okay so in this labor force uh, suppose before 2012 what was the situation suppose 48 percent suppose 48 percent people were working okay 48 part 48 percent people participated in the labor force okay 48 percent people participated in the labor force before 2012 now in the two year 2016 only 44 percent persons are participating in the labor force suppose all these are imaginary figures but i am telling you the trend what is the what is going on in india i am telling you a trend so before 2012 48 percent people were there uh, 48 percent people belonging to the labor force actually were working so they were participating in work productive work so 48 percent people was so 48 percent was the labor force participation ratio 48 percent was the labor force participation ratio then in the year 2016 the labor force participation ratio has fallen down to 41 percent then in the year 2020 the labor force participation ratio has fallen down to 39 percent okay so such is the situation of india okay so what is labor force participation ratio you you understood it now okay that the the percentage of population the percentage of labor force which actively participates in work okay the percentage of labor force which actively participates in work the that that particular proportion of the labor force which particularly uh, which uh, participates in work that particular portion of labor force which participates in work that is called as labor force participation rate okay so lfpr now the labor force participation rate for women in india okay, in india in india the labor for labor force participation rate for women is very low why is the labor force participation rate for women in india very low because in uh, because the women in india after marrying they become housewives most of them okay many of them i mean uh, it will be correct to say most of them okay so most of the women in india particularly in urban areas okay particularly in urban areas most of the women in india particularly in urban areas those women actually do not participate in the labor force most of them very few of them participate okay so the labor force participation rate for women in india is abysmally low okay abysmally low means very low if you look at other countries de developed countries it is very high it is uh, almost equal for men and women in the developed countries the labor for, labor force participation rate for men and women is equal almost in the developed countries but in countries where there is a high gender gap for example in india so in india the labor force participation rate for women is very low okay why is it very low because women marry and do not want to work so after marriage the society is such that they want the woman to be a housewife in order to be a better mother okay so that is the situation so just a second okay now just a second friends so an increasing number of youths are basically turning into discouraged workers now uh, in the previous segment of this video only we have learnt that india has surely a job crisis and many more people are joining the labor force looking for work they are joining in absolute numbers but the proportion of those finding work is less than before the working age population is also increasing as a share of total population 
which is called as the demographic dividend but lesser and lesser people are looking for work as a result the labor force participation rate that is lfpr is falling both for men and women so this suggests that an increasing number of youth are turning into discouraged workers okay in the sense that and so they are trying to search for uh, work but they are not getting it okay so as they are not getting work they are turning into what discouraged workers okay so as they are not getting work they are turning into discouraged workers just a second friends just a second okay so sorry for the disturbance so for men and women labor force participation rate is dropping down okay and uh, as the labor force participation rate is dropping down both for men and women so this clearly suggests that uh, an increasing number of youth are turning into discouraged workers so they try to search for work and they do not get it so they are turning into discouraged workers and many more are dropping out of the search okay and uh, this dropping out of uh, search the author tries to say that uh, many people are dropping out of the search of jobs and uh, as many people are dropping out of the search of jobs this implies that the unemployment rate should have been very low okay because many people have dropped out of work so they have stopped looking for work and unemployment is measured in terms of those looking for work actively seeking work okay so the situation is even more uh, historically unprecedented uh, situation unprecedented situation because the as as many people have dropped out of the uh, search of jobs the unemployment rate should have been a little bit lower right but it is not so so this situation of many more dropping out of the search prevails on top of a historically unprecedented open unemployment rate okay which this unprecedented open unemployment rate has a uh, risen from 2.2% to 6.1% okay so the unemployment rate the data of which the government has stopped uh, publishing similarly the data of farmer suicide also the government stopped publishing because uh, uh, it was it it will uh, eventually question the modi government so that's why the government stopped publishing the data okay so the thing is unemployment rate rose from 2.2% to it has risen to 6.1% okay and uh, this 2.2% uh, unemployment rate was there in the year 2012 and this 6.1% unemployment rate is in the year 2018 according to the year 2018 some people say that the unemployment rate is uh, even higher in this particular year okay uh, the book was written in 2020 but if we talk about the year 2023 many people argue that the unemployment rate is currently 8% okay in 2023 many people argue like that okay the open unemployment rate of youth now this is the overall un unemployment rate okay this is the overall unemployment rate means this includes 15 to 65 years people what is this unemployment rate this is for 15 years of age 
15 years of age to 65 years of age people now if we talk about the youth what is happening to the youth so the thing is youth uh, let us define youth those between 15 year to 29 year old those will be called as basically your youth okay so the thing is the open unemployment rate of youth between 15 year to 29 year old it has gone up it was 6.1 percent in the year 2012 okay and now this particular ratio in the year 2018 it has risen to 17.8 percent okay as the modi government is very sensitive of its image its brand okay it is based, the entire empire is based upon advertisements okay they are giving so much of ads that people are getting brainwashed okay so if someone asks for employment uh, uh, telling the unemployment data they don't want it to be the main issue of election they want that people should vote on communal communal agenda caste agenda identity politics okay so that's why they stopped publishing the data of unemployment itself and uh, they even stopped publishing the data of farmer suicides so that no no opposition can make it an issue in the election campaign okay so such is the policy now the unemployment rate is 45 uh, it is highest in 45 years okay the un unemployment rate is highest in 45 years actually okay so this is nothing the author says further that this is nothing short of a crisis of india's current and future gdp growth okay so this is nothing short of a crisis for india's current and future gdp growth so the gdp growth will suffer suffer because of this why because less production will take place because most of the people are unemployed so less production will take place as less production will take place so gdp will suffer eventually okay which seriously risks its demographic dividend so the demographic dividend about which i had talked over here okay so uh, this particular thing the demographic dividend it will eventually suffer okay as the demographic dividend will suffer what will happen this particular group of people will suffer so what will happen we will reach the aging population we will reach the aging population and uh, when we reach the aging population like uh, because of technological advancement now the technology will not be invented in india but uh, whatever technology is uh, actually imported from the western countries that particular technology will eventually lead to lower birth rates okay and the advancement in medical surgery medical field will eventually lead to lower birth rates and the lower the birth rates are the more is the aging population so soon we will reach towards aging population like european countries okay but uh, the thing is we will not be able to provide any social security to our citizens okay so this is a sort of crisis for india's current and future gdp growth and this seriously risks its demographic dividend this and what to do about it now this is the, uh, what to do what are the solutions to this prop particular problem uh, it is the subject of this particular book okay now the demographic dividend why is it called as the uh, demographic dividend why is it called as demographic dividend so the thing is as young people reach working age okay as young people like you and me i am also 
थर्टी टू ईयर्स ओल्ड ओके सो आई एम ऑल्सो क्वाइट यंग आई विल बी थर्टी थ्री वेरी सुन ओके सो द थिंग इज एज एज यंग पीपल रिच वर्किंग एज एग्रीकल्चर विच इज ऑलरेडी सफरिंग फ्रॉम अनलिमिटेड सप्लाईज ऑफ लेबर ओके सो वॉट इज द स्टेट ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर इन इंडिया सो द स्टेट ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर इन इंडिया इज सच वॉट इज हैपनिंग इन इंडिया इन द लास्ट टेन इयर्स इज दैट एवर सिंस द इयर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व मोर एंड मोर पीपल आर गेटिंग एंगेज इन एग्रीकल्चर ओके सो सपोज देयर इज अ फैमिली ओके देर इज अ फैमिली ऑफ फोर पर्सनस देर इज अ फैमिली ऑफ फोर पर्सनस so this is the father this is the mother this is son and this is daughter okay and uh, there is suppose one more son okay there is one more son so the thing is suppose initially initially in the year 2012 what was the situation this father and this particular son they were employed in agriculture suppose okay so these two people were employed in agriculture okay and this mother and daughter were also employed in agriculture okay of a typical ruler rural area of india okay so the the father mother son and daughter these four persons of the so four persons out of five of the family were involved in agriculture now they are suppose small and marginal farmers okay they have very small piece of land now the thing is after 2012 ever since 2012 what happened is that this son this particular son okay this particular son he used to before 2012 the situation was such that this last son used to work as a watchman okay he used to work as a watchman in a factory okay so he was a watchman security guard now the thing is the factory the fact the factory suppose it was micro small and medium enterprise factory in that particular factory this particular son worked as a watchman now the thing is that particular factory has shut down why that that factory has shut down because of demonetization suppose so because of demonetization that particular factory has shut down okay now these four persons were already sufficient for the agriculture to proceed these four persons were already sufficient for the agriculture to uh, run smoothly okay because they had a very small piece of land but this particular watchman son he returns to the village because the industry is shut down so the micro small and medium enterprise factory and their warehouse they have been shut down so this particular watchman comes back to the rural area and uh, as soon as he comes back to the rural area what happens is that he is he he has no work to do this particular person has no work to do so what he is he what he does is he tries to help he tries to help these four persons okay he tries to help these four persons in agriculture so he has the income 
has the income of the family increased has the income of the family increased the answer is no the income of the family hasn't increased okay the income of the family hasn't increased but still still this person is this particular son is also contributing this particular son is also contributing to the agriculture although the uh, he uh, although the uh, agriculture was already sufficient with this four people so is the per capita income increasing the answer is no okay but will this particular person whom i am i am marking with the green pen this particular person marked with the green pen is this particular person able to what we can say uh, earn some new income the answer is no but will this particular person who i have marked as green will he be counted as unemployed the answer is no he will not be counted as unemployed okay because he uh, whenever survey people who take the survey whenever they will come to his house they will say that okay you are working right so you are not un unemployed so this particular greenly marked uh, green pen marked person marked with the green marker this particular person eventually will say that i work in the field along with my family but this is disguised on employment because when that person was working as a watchman in those days it was not disguised on employment he was employed in actual uh, in reality but he uh, he was actively seeking for work for last 8 years but he didn't get any work okay so as he didn't get any work he started helping the family in agriculture and as he started helping the family in agriculture what happened as he started helping the family in agriculture he was not counted as unemployed okay because he was a discouraged worker who didn't get work so that this discouraged worker has started helping the family so he has dropped out of the labor force and he is uh, employed in he is he is also unemployed in reality but it is disguised unemployment what does it mean by disguised unemployment disguised unemployment means the employment which exists in reality but it it is not seen okay it exists in reality because these four persons were already sufficient for the agriculture and were, and this additional person has entered the agricultural force but this particular person is not producing anything new okay so the gdp is not increasing because of this particular person so this particular person is an extra person who is just helping out his family so it is disguised unemployment which we can also call as pseudo employment okay seems to be employed but not employed in reality so we call it pseudo employment okay now as young people reach working age agriculture which is already suffering from unlimited supplies of labor okay so the agriculture is already suffering from unlimited supplies of labor okay now as the agriculture as the agriculture is suffering from unlimited supplies of labor now more and more persons are entering the uh, working age group okay as more and more people are entering the working age group some of the persons what do they try some of the persons who are there in the unlimited supplies of labor they try to shift themselves to the industry and services okay they try to shift themselves to industry and services okay so suppose suppose they want to clear the ias exam okay so the son of a farmer clears 
IAS exam. So he he or she will be removed. He or she will be removed from the unlimited supplies of labor, and he or he or she will be absorbed to the IAS. Okay. So that person who had entered the demographic dividend has entered the it he has been absorbed in the services. Okay. So the unlimited supplies of labor will reduce from here. Then. Somebody will work as a labor in the factory. Okay, so the, the he or she will be employed in the industry. So again, unlimited unlimited supplies of labor reduces, and as unlimited supply of labor reduces, there is a decrease in disguised unemployment. Okay, decrease in disguised. unemployment okay decrease in disguised unemployment now what has happened after 2012 till present is that this this particular industry is suffering from recession this particular industry is suffering from recession okay and the uh, posts of ias and ips okay after 2014 the government is has become very uh, what we can say uh, very uh, you know yeah, they have reduced seat to such an extent okay they have reduced seat the seats of ias and ips officers they have reduced the seats to such an extent that it is very difficult to compete nowadays still everyone is voting on identity politics basis okay no one is asking the question so since 2014 this door is closed this door is closed this door is closed okay so the unlimited supplies of labor in the agriculture has increased okay it is it is it is increasing day by day okay it is increasing day by day and instead of decreasing disguised unemployment there has been an increase in disguised unemployment okay this is the reason as more and more people are going to the rural areas they are returning from cities to the rural areas as more and more and more persons are returning to the rural areas that's why that's why the demand of manrega okay the demand of manrega what is this manrega mahatma gandhi Nat uh, national rural employment guarantee act okay mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act okay this is manrega so the demand of labor because of rural distress what is happening is that the demand of manrega has increased the demand of manrega has increased tremendously but the government is reducing the budget on manrega government is reducing the budget on manrega demand although the demand has increased still the government is reducing the uh, budget on manrega so this particular road this particular road is also closed okay so the only road which has remained is that of agriculture which is already suffering from disguised unemployment now if the agriculture is not able to if the agriculture is not able to fill up the stomach if agriculture is failing to fill up the struggle uh, now in agriculture also there are two issues subsidies subsidies are getting reduced okay petrol petrol is petrol is very expensive petrol is very expensive so as the petrol is very expensive tractor becomes very expensive to drive okay to it is very expensive to use tractor because petrol is petrol diesel is very expensive okay subsidies you have reduced petrol price is up 
tractor is very expensive because of using a tractor has become very expensive because of fuel price rise okay and subsidies also you have reduced okay fertilizer not provided by the government fertilizer not provided by the government after 2014 not properly provided okay then the uh, insurance okay insurance has also failed because it has been given to the it, lic is not taking the insurance instead adani is taking the insurance so in, in insurance also there is a loss okay so all these factors all these factors have led to the decline of agriculture also and as agriculture has also declined so people are becoming day by day criminals because they have no source of earning okay so people are becoming criminals so the crime rate the crime rate is increasing okay so this is the complete story of india so that's why that's why in the year 2018 in the year 2018 india had one of the highest crime rates in the world okay in the year 2018 one of the highest crime rates in the world india had and the government rejected it saying that people are jealous of us the foreign ngos are jealous of us okay so they propagated that idea in the minds of their bhakts okay so and people believed also okay because of whatsapp university and the it cell okay so and the unsafe unsafest country for women also in the year 2018 india was regarded as the unsafest country for women also so people are divided day day becoming criminals because of all these things so all the doors have been shut down by the government okay all the doors have been shut down agriculture door has also been shut down okay so that's the reason although in the is examination interview when whenever you uh, go to an interview of the is examination you can never blame the government ever since 2014 remember this thing that whenever you uh, pass the prelims and mains whenever you pass the pre and mains after that you will reach the interview stage okay now in the interview never say anything which actually curses the government okay before 2014 the pattern was such that you can actually you could have actually raised question suppose you were giving the is exam in 2013 then you you could have criticized the government okay you could have criticized government but after 2014 because of the modi government policies it's a, uh, it is it is at war with persons modi government is constantly at war with persons who criticize it calling them anti national anti hindu okay and all those things so because of that you should in the interview after 2014 you should never never criticize the government okay never criticize government okay now the thing is all these things why i am telling you because all these things will help you make a good answer okay all this knowledge will help you make a good answer that's why i am telling you all these things okay now as young people reach working age agriculture which is already suffering from unlimited supplies of labor shares worker to be absorbed in industry and services okay now these two sectors that is the industry and services industry and services okay these two economic sectors what are these these are economic sectors 
इकोनॉमिक सेक्टर दीज टू इकोनॉमिक सेक्टर्स हैव हायर इनकम ओके दे हैव हायर इनकम एंड हायर प्रोडक्टिविटी ओके देन एग्रीकल्चर दिस हायर इनकम्स बेसिकली जनरेट ग्रोइंग सेविंग्स अक्रॉस द इकोनॉमी सो दिस हायर इनकम्स ओके हायर इनकम्स एंड हायर प्रोडक्टिविटी वॉट डू दे डू सो हायर द प्रोडक्टिविटी हायर द प्रोडक्टिविटी हायर इज द इनकम higher is the income and higher is the income higher are the savings okay and higher savings what what does it lead to these higher savings this higher savings lead to higher investments now naturally naturally a farmer a farmer will never invest in bonds okay what are bonds Fa farmer does not understand what are mutual funds farmer farmer does not understand only a only a bureaucrat type of person that is the elite elite persons that is hardly 5% to 7% population of the country the english is speaking elites which account for 5 to 7% population of the country those persons have higher savings as those persons have higher savings they are involved in investments so higher will be the savings in the economy higher will be the investments okay so higher productivity leads to higher income higher income leads to higher savings higher savings leads to higher investments okay at the macro economic level what what happens then this process has actually profound long run implications okay as the share of both savings and investments in total income rises Okay, as already told to you, as the share of savings and investments in total income rises, a virtuous cycle of growth is triggered. Okay, so this triggers a virtu virtual cycle of growth. Why will it trigger a virtual cycle of growth? Because you can see this thing. Let me mark it with the blue pen. Okay, let me mark it with the blue pen. Let us take blue pen. okay so this has led to this this has led to this this has led to this and higher investments will higher investments will again lead to higher productivity because is because if someone buys the someone because of higher savings if someone buys the stocks of some company so there will be higher investments and those if if he buys the stocks of some particular company then there will be higher productivity then this higher productivity will again lead to higher income then this higher income will again lead to higher savings this higher savings will again lead to higher investments then this higher investments will again lead to higher productivity so so this is a virtual cycle virtuous cycle of growth okay so as the share of both savings and investments in total income rises a virtual virtuous cycle of growth is trigger which will last till there are no youth okay this virtuous cycle of growth will last until no new youths are entering the labor force okay so all the labor force will get absorbed in this okay 
so in this particular cycle of virtuous growth you are all labor force okay will be absorbed okay so this virtuous cycle of growth will last if all the other things all the other factors if they remain equal this virtuous cycle of growth will last till there are no new youth till there are no new youth entering the labor force okay so a time will come so all the work for labor force will be absorbed in this then what will happen is that a time will come when the when the population growth rate okay population growth rate a time will come when the population growth rate will actually fall to such a low level that persons who enter the labor force persons who enter the labor force will be less okay if yeah, this population growth rate will be reduced to such an extent that the persons who enter the labor force will be less and those who exit the labor force okay those who exit the labor force will be more and those who enter the labor force will be less and as this particular cycle will go on so all the labor force will be absorbed in this particular cycle so that this is what the author says okay in fact this period of the demographic dividend ends as the number of young entrants start falling because the fertility rate among women of reproductive reproductive age is falling okay so in fact this period of demographic dividend ends so this particular period of demographic dividend has ended in a productive manner okay the number of young entrants who enter the labor force has started to fall why they have started to fall because fertility rate among women of reproductive age okay who are women of reproductive age 15 to 53 years old so fertility rate among women of reproductive age is falling down okay at the same time incomes are rising incomes are rising because of this virtuous cycle of growth some years after the fertility rate falls below the replacement rate of 2.1 children per couple okay so what is this replacement rate of 2.1 children per couple okay what does it mean this is the replacement level okay so the thing is if a woman if a particular woman in her lifetime gives birth to 2.1 children on an average on a nation nationwide average if the birth rate fall to such an extent that a particular woman on an average is giving birth to 2.1 children okay then what will happen then the thing is the population growth actually reduces population growth actually reduces okay and this is the replacement rate 2.1 is the replacement rate means if the number of children per per cup per woman number of children per woman if this is if that particular thing is uh, greater than 2.1 okay the, suppose the rate is x 
this axis suppose greater than 2.1 then what will happen population will grow population will grow but if this particular rate is suppose less than 2.1 okay then the population will reduce but if it is equal to 2.1 then the population will remain stagnant okay stagnant so this is the thing so this is what is meant by the replacement rate okay some years after the fertility rate falls below the replacement rate of 2.1 children per couple so you know this very well that every country when it progresses in terms of medical facilities so what time comes a time comes when the when the replacement rate of 2.1 children per couple falls below 2.1 okay the replacement rate it is below the replacement rate fertility rate falls below the replacement rate so the total population and the working age share of the population will begin to fall total population will also fall and the working age share of the population will also fall and the society will become an aging society as already discussed in the previous slides okay with the share of dependents in the total population rising so those who are old aged old aged persons will be dependent on their children okay because in old age you are not able to uh, actually earn also and you become independent on your children okay so the society will become an aging society with the share of dependents in the total population rising as a result so what will happen in india the author says if this thing continues okay so society will become aging and share of dependents in the total population so dependents means the elderly people in the total population will be maximum so earning people will be less dependents will be maximum so there will be a lot of stress on the working people okay so as a result india risks india risks of becoming old without becoming rich okay so the virtuous cycle of growth which we have already seen if this would have been triggered then the people would have become rich okay so as people become rich they have better social security okay as people become more and more rich they have better social security and as they have better social security what happens then because of better social security they have more and more uh better social security means longevity increases okay which leads to more and more better life okay so so india risks if this particular thing continues which is continuing since 2012 the things which are which are the trend which is continuing after 2012 if this particular trend continues then india risks of becoming old without becoming rich okay and this is the opposite of what happened in europe and other rich countries in china also the opposite of this happened okay the, they became rich and after that they became elderly they became rich and after that they became elderly so if you become uh, uh, if you become rich first and after that if a country becomes rich and after that they become elderly they enter the uh, old age population uh, uh, old age population maximum situation okay because of uh, to below 2.1 replacement rate per couple fertility rate falling to 2.1 below 2.1 Uh, children per couple and they enter the old age population uh, last stage of the uh, demographic uh, 
ratio in which maximum number percentage of people are of the old age so if they become rich uh, if they become rich first and after that they become old aged then the thing is they will have better social security and the dependent will not be a the dependents that is the elderly will not be a formality for the uh, the for those who are working they will be self sustaining people those elderly people will not be in penury penury means they will not be in suffering those elderly people will live a happy life okay so country will also become happy okay but if someone is already poor then even even after entering the old age he or she will have to work in order to earn, earn money you must have seen 75 years old person driving a rickshaw okay so 75 year old person is driving a rickshaw why because he does not have a social security he has to earn even at the age of 75 so that his family sustains so he has failed to become rich in his uh, young age so he has to work now in the he, as he does not have social security he has to work even at the age of 75 years okay so this will this will make him make him very unhappy because even after back ache even after neck ache even after headache even after be, uh, drooping of the neck okay because of old age even after all these things he will have to work okay and as he will have to work his life longevity will be lost his happiness will be lost he will live in sufferings he will live in penury okay so that is the risk of india that is what india will become okay the author says if this particular trend which has started after 2012 this particular trend if it continues then india risks of becoming old without becoming rich and this is the exactly opposite of what happened in Europe and other rich countries. Okay, and even if we talk about developing countries like China, the opposite thing happened. They became rich first and then they entered the old age. Okay. There are two observations that are critical to understanding the con conjecture that India has reached. Okay. So, we will start from here in the next segment. Okay. We will start from here in the next segment. So just a second, let me have some water and then we will again once again start. Okay.